<laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> this is me having the time of my life as a visiting student in Australia. How did this happen? Well, this story started in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. My name is Haley Catton and I am a PhD candidate in biology here at the University of British Columbia, Okanagan. My research focuses on using insects to control weed infestations. I am studying how an insect released in Canada for weed control affects its target weed and whether it is threatening the persistence of a native non-target plant. This takes me to a ranch in southern Alberta where I work in collaboration with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. Here I have a field experiment running that will help me understand how the insect is affecting different populations of plants. In the fall of 2010, thanks to three travel awards, I was able to take my field data to the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia to work with Dr. Yvonne Buckley, an expert in weed population studies. My time in Australia was an amazing experience and a great mix of work and play. I spent most of my time here in the office, but also had some time off to do some exploring. Here is a quick recap. First thing, I met with Dr. Buckley and got acquainted with the beautiful University of Queensland campus, the city of Brisbane, its botanic gardens. I saw my first cockatoos and heard my first laughing kookaburra call. Getting down to work, I learned how to compile my raw field data to make it workable for the methods I wanted to learn. On the weekend, I went bird watching, had cocktails with new friends, and a day in the rainforest seeing huge trees, vines, a python, and even doing some parrot feeding. Oh, and Rosella! Oh, on the camera! That was awesome! That's gonna be... <laughs> Back at work, the learning curve was steep, but the benefit of being in the Buckley Plant Ecology Group in person was that there were people around to help me. On the weekend, I went whale watching where we saw mother and baby humpback whales coming right up to the boat. I will always remember that moment. <laughs> Golden moment. Golden moment. <laughs> wow. Back to work. I continued learning modeling software and giving a short presentation on my research to the UQ Ecology Group. On the weekend was a visit to a koala sanctuary. I got to hold a koala and even get up close and personal with kangaroos and other Australian wildlife. Back to work, Dr. Buckley and I developed a life cycle diagram for my plants. That weekend, a trip to a sand island. Everywhere we go today is sand. There's no roadways, there's no concrete footpaths. Everywhere we go today is sand. Back to work. I learned how to use linear mixed effects models. On the weekend, learning about bat or flying fox conservation and watching a colony of bats fly out for their nightly feeding. This was incredible. Back to work. I developed matrix population models for my plants. On the weekend, a trip to see breeding penguins. Back to work, I began learning techniques like generalized linear modeling. By this time I figured out I could leave my office and work outside under the palm trees on campus. On the weekend, going to the beach and boogie boarding with new friends. Back to work. I learned how to perform life table response experiments. On the weekend, one of the grad students had lent me a mandolin, so I learned how to play and even did some jamming. Back to work, my research was wrapping up. I prepared a final presentation for Dr. Buckley and we agreed to continue collaborating on my project. I learned a new way of thinking about my research, new techniques, and developed professional connections. The research visit was a big success. After my work was done, I stayed in Australia for a few weeks, joined by my parents and brother. We saw many interesting sights, but the highlight of our trip was spending time on the Great Barrier Reef. Here we snorkeled and went scuba diving. We saw coral, fish, 
sharks, rays, giant clams, and sea turtles. This helped us all feel more connected and fascinated by the ocean than ever before. This trip, made possible by my travel awards, Dr. Buckley, and support of academic supervisors, was important both personally and professionally. I feel very fortunate and would wholeheartedly encourage other students to apply for the same types of enriching opportunities. As a final note, my time in Brisbane ended just a few weeks before the devastating floods in January 2011. My heart goes out to my friends in Queensland as they recover from the damage, and this video is dedicated to them.